Hello YouTube and welcome to year 16 absolute positivity of human resource machine and here we have to try to do the following we have to send whatever is positive into the outbox if something is negative we're going to make it positive and then send it to the outbox uh, so there's no new commands that are given to us so we just have to try to use the same commands again and this time uh, I think the solution gives you both challenges uh, so here what we're doing is we're picking up a number and uh, let's just ignore this for now um, and basically drop it in right away. Now, if the number is negative, if it's negative, you go to this command. If it's positive, you return to the original function and you pick up the next number. If it's negative, however, what you do is you put it down and then subtract it from itself twice. So what, th what this will do is if the number is negative, minus nine, minus minus nine will give us zero. And then minus minus nine again will give us plus nine. So this will actually make it positive. And so what you're doing here is you take a negative number, like for example, minus nine, and you add in its own value to itself twice, making it positive. And then of course you jump back to the original function. So here we go. Six is positive, we put it down. Minus nine is negative, we put it down here. Add it to itself twice to get plus nine and put it down. So this will give us a perfect solution and all of the positive numbers. Although unfortunately the speed challenge here has not been completed, so we need to change something. And if you want to complete the speed challenge easily, you can just kind of add an outbox right here and then change this jump to here. And I think this will actually give the speed challenge. So if I were to do this again, I would get the speed challenge as well. Not the size challenge, but the speed challenge has now been complete, so we'll get both stars at the same time. And let's do exclusive launch as well. This is uh, an additional level, uh, year 17. And here, uh, what it says is this. For each two things in the inbox, send a zero to the outbox if they have the same sign. Um, in other words, if uh, both numbers are negative, then you send a zero. If two numbers are, um, one is positive, one is negative, like for example here, then we'll have to send a one. In other words, what we're doing is we're comparing the numbers. If they have the same sign, we send a zero. If, we, if they have a different sign, we send a one. So this is essentially an introduction to binary code. And it's a simple sort of a, a request where you're essentially comparing the negativity of numbers. Now, the way I approach this puzzle is by thinking of several different steps. So we're going to be picking up two numbers and there's always going to be several solutions. Either uh, this number is positive or negative or this number is positive or negative. So here, there's basically, you're gonna have to start thinking in binary. You pick up a number, if it's negative, you go somewhere else. If it's positive, you keep going. Pick up the second number. If it's negative, you go somewhere else. If it's positive, you keep going. So here we have uh, four different possibilities and four different jumps in a sense, or technically it's actually two jumps, but it does create four different possibilities. Possibility number one, uh, you pick up a number, first number is negative. You go over here, pick up a number, second number is negative. You go back and copy zero and put it into the outbox. If the second number was positive, you copy one and then you jump back to the outbox and jump back to the original function. However, if the first number was positive and the second number was negative, then you jump here, copy one again and jump back to the original function. So it does sound kind of complicated, but basically a lot of these jumps are sort of uh, testing if both numbers are positive or negative or if only one is so here here we go uh, it kind of looks like this if they're not different put zero if the sign is different you put zero or you sorry you put one and if the uh, signs are same you put zero and this will actually give you I believe this gives you size challenge So you can see we kind of actually beat the size challenge by one. So this gives us 11 steps instead of 12. But now let's try to beat the speed challenge as well. And so if we rework the solution a little bit, this is how you can get the speed challenge as well. So we're going to start by jumping directly into here. And this is the first inbox. Uh, the first inbox tells us if the number is negative, jump to the second inbox. And if that number is negative, go and copy from four, copy zero. 
and then jump directly into the outbox. Then from here we go back into inbox again. Uh, so essentially our, our actual script starts here. However, if the number is not negative, we keep going. If it's negative this time, we go here, copy a one and move it to the outbox. If once again it is not negative, we just keep going and copy zero and then jump into the outbox. So this is a slightly more efficient version, which will actually give you both of the challenges. And so if I solve it this way, I'll get both the speed challenge and the size challenge as well. Here we go. We even beat the speed challenge by one. Anyway, thank you for watching. This was Gear 17 exclusive launch and see you in the next video. Bye bye.